Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video we're going to take a look at a couple of ways to back up and restore the edge routers config file. Alright guys, so the first way that I'm going to show you to back up and restore the edge routers config file is probably the easiest and most common way to do so. It's using the router's web user interface. Now for this video I'm using an edge router X. And just as a side note, in a real world application, last week I used this exact procedure that I'm about to show you to get a client back up online. Turns out that after the storm, when power was restored, the edge router defaulted itself back to factory settings. Needless to say, the client was offline. Fortunately, having the backup, I was just able to go in and do the restoration process and get that client back up and running. So now let's hop over into the edge router and let's take a look at how this is done. So the first thing you need to do is come down to the system tab and look for the section that says configuration, management, and device maintenance. There you'll see two options, backup config and restore config. So what we want to do now is use the backup config option so that we can download the configuration file. So let's click on download. And it's a pretty quick process. You can see right here that the file was downloaded. Now for me, it goes to my downloads folder and there's the file right there. So there's your backup of your configuration right there. Now that we have the backup file saved to a location on our computer, it's simple to do the restore process. Again, from the system tab under the configuration management and device maintenance section, we're going to use the restore config option. So we're going to click on upload a file and we're going to have to navigate to that file that we had saved in the previous step. And there it is and we're going to say open. And there, it's a pretty quick process. The restoration is done. I don't know if you could see this in the grayed out area, but there's the green confirmation message. And then it goes on to ask if you want to reboot because a reboot is required after the restoration is done. So we're gonna say reboot, and we're gonna say, yes, I'm sure. And while the router's rebooting, I'll just go on to say that's pretty much all there is. After the reboot is done, in the case of my client last week, the, um, the salon was back up online. So it made it very quick and very painless to service that client just by doing a simple backup and restore. All right, guys, so the next way I'm gonna show you how to back up and restore a config file for an edge router is through a UNMS server. If you happen to be running a UNMS server because you're managing several edge routers for clients, you can back up and restore using your UNMS server. Let's take a look at how that's done. So I'm here and I'm looking at my devices tab and I'm going to select the edge router from the list of devices and in the left pane I'm going to come down and select backups. Now here you have a couple of options. You can create the backup right from this point or you can upload a previous backup. Let's say that backup that we did in that first scenario. If I wanted to go and upload that backup from my local computer, there it is. I can pull that in. And there you go. And now if I just hit the restore button, I'll be able to restore the file right from that backup. Now I'm not going to do that just yet because each time it does a restore, it requires a reboot. I just want to show you that you can also create the, this same backup file right from within UNMS by just clicking on create backup here. And there you go. And you can see now that we have that second backup file. So either one, if we click restore on either one, the one we uploaded, into UNMS or the one we created from within UNMS, we're gonna be able to restore that lab router. So I'm just gonna pick one of them and start the restore process. So UNMS asks, are you sure you wanna restore the configuration? We're gonna click confirm. Your configuration has been restored and a reboot is now required. Would you like to reboot now? And I'm going to go ahead and say confirm. And now the edge router is in the process of rebooting. And it's that straightforward, guys. Okay, now on to the third scenario. All right, guys, so the third and final way that I'm going to show you how to back up and restore the config file for the edge router is through using the command line interface. 
Now, this is a little tricky, and if you're not comfortable with the CLI, then using the web user interface is probably the easiest way to do this, and it will work for you. Now, that being said, I'm including this in this video because one of my recent um, requests from a viewer was exactly this on how to do this. I didn't have the video at the time, so I shared a link to this document, the help document from Ubiquity Networks. However, I do want to point out that I followed these steps explicitly and I could not get this to work. Now, it's probably me. I'm probably missing something. I am not a Linux uh, expert by no means. I like to muddle through and teach myself things and I'm sure it's just me, but I did come up with another series of steps and commands that do work for me using the command line and I'm going to share them with you now. All right, guys, so I have my terminal window up. I'm using a Mac. And the first thing we need to do is sign into the Edge router via SSH. So let's get that done now. And I'm using the default credentials. I recommend that you do not do that, for, but for the purpose of this video, um, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm logged into my Edge router. And what we want to do is change into the directory where the config file is stored. So that's in a directory called, so we're going to use CD and then we're going to say um, forward slash config. And now you can see we're in the config directory. If I do a list command, there's the config.boot file, which that is the file that we definitely um, want to save down to our local computer. So to do that, we're going to type SCP, which stands for secure copy protocol and then next we're going to name the file that we want to um, download and that's config.boot and the next step is to put the uh, path to where you want that file saved so in my case I want to store it on my local computer on my desktop so I have to put the username of my computer and then the IP address of my computer And then I'm going to put a colon and a forward slash, and I'm going to define the exact path to my desktop. So it's users slash Tony slash desktop. And when I hit enter, I should be prompted for the password. There you go. And this is the password to sign into my computer. And there you go. It says the config file has been copied. And once I zoom out, you'll see there it is on my desktop in the upper right hand corner. Now, I do want to show you another way to get to this as well. Um, that's a little simpler than doing what I just did through the command line. Remember, in the first scenario, we downloaded that file through the web user interface of the router. Well, if we go back to that downloads location, and there's the um, tar file that we downloaded earlier, if we double click that to extract that, you'll see it creates a config folder. And within that config folder, there's that same config boot file that we just download and save locally to our desktop. Okay, now that we have that file, let's jump into the Edge router because I just want to show you a few things that we're going to change in the router's config so that when we upload this config.boot file back to the router using the command line, we can confirm whether or not the upload process was successful. Okay, so we're in the dashboard of the Edge router, and I just wanted you to take a look at the config. You can see on switch zero, I have the 192 network, and on east two, I have a 172 network. I have DHCP servers for both of those. If we take a look at the services tab, you can see the 192 DHCP server and the 172 DHCP server. Now that the config that we just downloaded through the CLI in that last step contains all of this information. So what we're gonna do now is change this config and save it through the UI. So we're going to delete the uh, 172 DHCP server. There we go. And we'll go back to the dashboard and we will remove the 172 network from the East 2 interface. And we'll save that. Okay, so now you can see that all um, instances of the 172 network are now not part of the configuration anymore. So in the next step, when we copy that config.boot file back up 
to the edge router through the CLI, after the reboot, we should have the original configuration restored. So let's get started and take a look at that. Okay, so we're back in the Mac terminal. And one of the first things we have to do is I'm going to change into the directory where I have the config.boot file stored. So it's up on my desktop. And if we do a list command, we'll see that there it is right there. Next thing we're going to do is use the secure copy protocol again. We're going to name the file that we want to copy, just like in the last step, config.boot. But this time we're going to point the file toward the edge router. So it's ubnt at 192.168.100.1, which is the address of the router. I'm going to put colon forward slash, and now I'm going to put the directory to where I want that file copied to. Now on the edge router, the config.boot file is stored in the config folder. So I'm just going to type config. And when I hit enter, I should be prompted for the password of the router. And we'll put that in. And that should be our confirmation that the file was copied up. So now what we're going to do is let's go into the edge router and let's go down to the system tab and let's do a reboot. Just real quick, again, taking a look at the configuration file just to re refresh your memory that on ETH2 we had the 172 network which we uh, removed and saved the config file in the user interface. And so now we're going to come back down to the system tab and we're going to just do a device restart. Do you want to restart? And we're going to say yes, I'm sure. All right, guys, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back once the router's restarted and we'll take a look and see if the file was copied up successfully. We should see the 172 network back on ETH2 and we should also see the 172 DHCP server. Okay, so we're back at the login screen. I'm just going to enter the username and password for the edge router. And let's see if the config returns. And there you go, guys. So back on uh, ETH2, the description is test. Uh, there's the 172 network. And if we come over to the services tab, we should have the uh, test DHCP server on the 172 network. So there you go, guys. A couple of different ways that you can back up and restore your edge router's config through the web user interface of the router, through the UNMS server, if you're running a UNMS server, and also through the command line interface. Now, I'll post the steps that I use for the command line interface down in the video description below because they're different from that of the UBNT help document. So I hope you liked this video, guys, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.